Hello everyone, this is ATS Gask here and it is time for some more Bronze League! Lifting up your main base and floating into the middle, Heroes! That is right, it's going to be a TVP between Buzzbomb, who, well, I can't really say he's up on the top right side because he's already evacuated. Houston, we have liftoff. As he is going to go ahead and fly right into the middle, I can only assume he's going to go right to here, the high yield. And down in the bottom left side, he has not lifted off his base. I can only guess it's because he can't. Uh, he's going to be dropping out a pylon here, yes. Yes, drop the pylon, drop the pylon. All right, he does go ahead and throw that down right there. The probe's going to be scouting out, and he is going to be one super, super, super confused probe here as uh, he's going to be scouting a base that does not exist. I don't think he's going to be seeing this. Oh, my God, why aren't you landing? Land the command center. What are you doing? You had one job, which was to land the command center, but his 12 APM just was not enough. Those SCVs, there we go. We got one per mineral patch already as he does have the uh, six SCVs there. So, my God, I'm so excited. Now, for those of you who do not know, Bronze League Heroes is where we cast the very best of the very worst. We take a lot of the fun, the low-level games out there. We have a laugh, and we go out and play some StarCraft on our own. SCV, you better get to work. I love this. Already going for the refinery over here. I, I don't know the math on it. If this is ever even going to be faster than if you would have just stayed in his main base. But you can see the probe right here is like, uh, guys... Are, uh, did we get sent to a barren planet? Now, he should be able to scout out over here and see the base go. Oh, God. Oh, no, he doesn't. He's got to miss it again. He, I, I can guess he assumes that he knows where his opponent is going to be at, uh, which is going to be in the middle. I mean, where else would the Terran player be? I guess he could float over here or something. I don't know. He's got to guess, though, exactly where he's going to be, and we are going to be having the cybernetics core. Now, unfortunately for Budaman, did I ever say Budaman? Did I say that? I can't remember if I ever said Budaman. Anyways, it is Budaman here who says, you know what, Pylon Schmylon's going to be throwing down that pylon way late. You can see he doesn't have his probes on the way. He also has his uh, assimilator here done with no probes inside, but that's fine because it's Bronze League. You guys know, you guys know where that was headed anyways. Anyways, we have the engineering bay first here. Oh my god, is he going to go for a planetary fortress? I bet you he is. I bet your biscuits he's going to go for a planetary already. Oh, oh god, I was about to say it was one, but he does have SCVs on the way. The engineering bay before barracks, but after refinery, it's a pretty solid build, guys. Just kidding, don't ever do that. We do have the Zealot out right now. The Cybernex Core is done. Not enough gas to be able to really use this to pile on finally. Uh, another pile is going to be coming up here, so it won't be supply block this time. He's like, fool me once, self. Shame on me. Fool me twice. Still shame on me because I'm fooling myself. But uh, either way, more SCVs are going to be on the way. Now, thankfully for him, it doesn't take very long to saturate this. Unfortunately for him... A stalker right here can kill every single unit without actually being attacked. But that is okay because that level of strategy has not been seen in ages here in Bronze League Heroes. So it's one of those things where I have no idea what's ever going to happen. You at home never has any idea what's going to happen other than the games. They may not be good, but my god are they good. We do have the reactor going to be on the way right now. I love how he has no units for defense right now. Doesn't have a planetary, doesn't have marines. And he's like, you know what? You know what? Bear with me here. The, the smart thing to do right now is to build a reactor, which is like the longest building to ever build ever. My God, they take forever. Uh, 50 in-game seconds just to be able to make two Marines at a time. But thankfully for him, man, uh, Buddha man, he is living up to his name. He is being a pacifist. He is being a Buddha. And he's just going to chill back at his home. So that is, uh, that's going to be great for him. Buzz Bomb. I love how his name... For some reason, I love how his name is in all caps. I don't know what it is about that, but I feel like it adds to the atmosphere of the build that you're looking at right now. It's like, hey man, why didn't you build an orbital command? Because Buzz Bomb! Why did you make a reactor before making any Buzz Bomb? An engineering bay for Buzz Bomb! And really, I feel like that's the answer to everything. And there's the planetary fortress because Buzz Bomb! Oh, Buzz Bomb, I am a fan of your 19 supply compared to 35 right now for Budaman. Now, Budaman's got a Stargate on the way. He's got a gateway as well. Warp Gate being researched here. So he's not doing too bad. I mean, he's not doing laughably bad. Uh, laughing. All right, guys, look. Talking is very hard. I said laughingly bad. I meant laughingly bad, but it's really the same thing. The Oracle is on the way, and he's going to rally it over here. 
to the natural where he's already scouted that there's nothing there, but that's fine. I mean, to each their own. I mean, some of us like to go for planetary fortresses first, okay? I don't know what it is about Bronze Age Heroes and planetary fortresses, but for the first time in weeks, I feel like we're going to be getting a new unit from Heart of the Swarm in Bronze League Heroes. It is going to be the Oracle, and the crowd goes crazy. <sighs> That's the audience. Whatever. We have the Oracle right now. Got to be moving on out. I'm going to laugh if he ends up losing this before he even spots really where his opponent's base is. All right, so for sure he's going to scout something over here, right? All right, he's spotted a supply depot and a refinery, so he knows what's up. He knows where that army is. He's going to turn this ship right around, and he just needs to tell it to attack. There it goes. He flew it too far to the left side. You're going to lose it. What are you doing? No! Six HP there. If you just leave it right here, you can kill off every single SCV. Why do people never know this in Bronze League Heroes? And he decides to make another Oracle because this one went so well. He just was like, you know what? I'm going to make another Oracle and I'm going to get two more kills. <laughs> it does like the Stalker Zealot is going to be moving out right now. And that might actually be able to end this game right here, right now. If with a little bit of good control, what he can do is camp over the high ground. Hopefully he is hearing me. Buddha man, you can camp over the high ground. Sometimes I just want to go back in time and just control this army for him. But then Bronze League Heroes wouldn't be nearly as fun, now would it? The army is going to be moving right in here. And this is the strong point of Buzz Bomb. He's got all his supply depots set up over here. He's got missile turrets as well. The Marines are over on the left side. Decides to focus down the barracks. Out of all things, the barracks says he loses his oracle there, attempting to do that, and he doesn't even kill off the barracks just yet. The Marauder in there, he's like trying to put his suit on really quick. He's like, oh god, this place is gonna burn. Oh, and then he dies. Uh, but no one mourns a Marauder that never spawns. The Mothership Corps gets taken out though, as it does look at the Marauder right now, is gotta be able to clean up house as it does scare this army away. My God, Buddha man, you screwed up. You allowed Buzz Bomb to continue to play, although he's only got seven workers on this mineral patch. He's got three idol workers over here, which is quite cute. They're flexing at each other. They're, uh, this guy right here is in the rear with his gear. That is uh, what's going on right there. Kind of gross, but you know what? We, we, we got to support it, guys. What, what an SCV does in his private room is up to the SCV and his partner. All right, so we do have a command center now as he has taken both high-yield expansions. Now, it's so funny because I remember casting high-level games on this map, and I'm always like, all right, guys, well... Um, there's not that many. There's not that many expansions on this map. You're not really gonna see anyone ever take the high yield expansion. I don't know why this voice keeps evolving into like whatever that was. But here in Bronze League Heroes, you're gonna be seeing uh, both high yield expansions taken before any other base. Okay. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. But anyways, those like the Marine Ride gonna be important. Oh, the Void Rays are so pissed using prismatic alignment because why the hell not? And they do kill off that Marauder. We got 22 supply here to 54. I got a hand to Buzz Bomb, though, man. He He's a champ. He's like, you know what? I lost all my units. I got no units. What am I going to do? I'm going to make a missile turret. It's going to be fine. It's going to hold me up. No, wait, guys. I'm going to make two missile turrets. But I'm going to queue up those missile turrets from the same SCV. Not even going to have every SCV working right now. This is some classic Bronzy heroes. Now, classic Buzz Bomb, man. As he does have uh, now nine SCVs mining there. I'm quite proud of him. Let's take a look at his income here. In comparison, 500 to 700, which is not bad considering he's only got 10 SCVs on minerals. And he does have a base over here. I'm just going to assume that that is as close as it can get. I don't actually know if that's the case or not. Uh, also, if these stalkers would move literally like eight void ray lengths up here, which if you're measuring something in void ray lengths, you know how close that is. If he just moves right here, you can't mine from these minerals. Uh, whatever, but this is why we love Bronze League heroes. No, no upgrades on the Marines. No, uh, no stem, no combat shields, no Marauder slow. Really nothing of use is at his base right now, but it looks like he's going to once again attack the strong point, and the missile turrets will actually become useful here. Uh, he will be able to at least do quite a bit of damage with them before they die. The SMEs here, guys, be careful. The planetary is up. No, my life for ire as the Zelts run in there because Bronze League Hero Zelts are so stupid. He lost the Void Ray. Loses one of the Void Rays, tries to take out the other one. These SCVs need to repair, though, as the Planetary is going to save the day with or without repair. Oh, he's going to lose it. Oh, God, that was so close. Oh, no, he is going to lose it. He loses it to the two Marines. Oh, God, loses that there. He's got to lose the Stalkers as well. Bronze League Heroes. 
a lot of people have been commenting that my voice is slowly going out, and I got to say, Bronzy Heroes is to blame. It is way too epic. It is way too hilarious that my voice can actually not handle it. Where is it? Where are you going, SCB? What? What could you ever hope to accomplish? Oh God! What are you doing? What are you doing? Cue up the Benny Hill theme. I'm not exactly sure where this SCB is going, but it is going to be glorious. I'm sure he is going to do something useful. Not that he actually has any... Where is this SCB actually going? Like, for reals. For reals, though. Where are you going, SCB? All right. He's going over here. And he'll just wait out right here because his income right now is at 500 still. 14 minutes into a game, still at that low of income. But he has managed to make two workers at a time, everybody. He's also going to be throwing down even more missile turrets because the other ones actually did do quite well for him here. Actually ending up getting him into a good spot. But I got to say, if Buddha Man loses this... I am going to lose it because he has had ample opportunity to do something smart. And, of course, oh, my God, this base up here is actually going to be spotted as soon as it goes down. Obviously, Buzz Bomb is hacking. You can tell by his build order that he is obviously hacking here. As it does look like this will get taken out here. The Marine is going to kill off this poor probe. And he forces the cancel. I love how it's so easy for him to expand down here, but he decided to expand. Oh, my God, it's going to get scouted as well. If he cancels this... If he cancels this Nexus when he has this whole army right here. Okay. All right. He's not going to cancel it there, so I don't have to throw out my voice just yet. But uh, we'll see. Taking a look at the army supply right now. 18 army supply to 20. That's when you know it's a great game at the 16-minute mark. Uh, I will say neither player is hovering a ridiculous amount of minerals, but uh, neither player... Oh, wait. What did he build up here? He is building a factory. We have a factory, a proxy factory in his own old base up on the top right side. I don't think I've ever said that in a cast. Oh my god, is he going to kill this? I'm pretty sure this Oracle is going to delay the in-base own proxy factory in his own main right as it goes down. That's going to be hilarious if that Oracle actually stops it. He doesn't have enough energy. Oh no, he didn't deactivate his ability, so he ran out of all of his energy. Wah, 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 wah. Now, unfortunately for him, he can't actually kill us off. He will randomly spot this factory. The SCP is like, oh god, oh dear god, oh dear god, it's coming back. Can he attack me? No, he can't. All right, so that factory is actually going to finish. Uh, any more SCVs on our way for our Terran? Of course not, because that would be too smart. We do have another factory going on down here. What's... All right, a missile turret at a factory. Got the pretty sweet base going on over here. Uh, I swear, these are always the partners I get in 4v4, man. They're like, no, no, I got elite strategy. I'm going to build behind my mineral light. It's going to be great. No, it's it's, it's going to be great. Don't, don't, it's going to be great. All right, so we have the Marine and Marauder going to be moving out right now. They do have 1-1, one, one, which I'm quite impressed he actually managed to get that. Here he goes. Does he have Stimpak? No, but he does have Marauder Slow, which is very surprising here. He is going to be marching right up here, and the Militia Corps could use Photon Overcharge, could use Time Warp, could really use anything other than the Die ability. Ah! Oh, he does get the Photon Overcharge off, though. At the very last second, that was pretty clutch. I'll give that to him, which is going to save him. It's not going to save the Pylon, however which I think is the uh, the biggest upsetting defeat so far in this game. And this guy's going to lose all of his energy as well. He, he has it selected. He's like, all right, should I click it? Uh, should I, do I need the energy? Um, I think I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and let it run out. All right, so this army is going to be moving out. Now we have three Stalkers, an Immortal, two Oracles, and a Void Ray. And they are on Mission Easy mode. I was going to say Mission Impossible, but... Really, if they screw this up, that's that's their own fault. I do love the proxy factory. All right, this base is quite shaping up over here, though. He's got the factory. He's got the double starport, which is quite nice. He's got the reactor on there. Got some Vikings going. Uh, he's got a bad case of near supply block, though, so he's got to watch out for that. But uh, the oh my god, if he loses something to these missile turrets, I swear to God. All right, he's not going to lose anything to that. Doesn't look like the stalkers over here are going to be able to kill us off. Maybe able to force the lift off, and he does. Houston, we have lift off. Note that I only do the Houston voice in Bronze League Heroes games because they lift off at the most hilarious times. It was the best of times, guys. Uh, speaking of best of times, just more Vikings overall on the way. I guess he's just like, all right, I spotted two Oracles, so I need ten Vikings. That's going to be what the counter to that is. I think the factory may somehow, against all odds, manage to survive. We do have a third starport now done, uh, mining with a grand total of five SCVs on gas. Uh, we'll have to see exactly what this transitions into, but our Protoss player, he's managed to sustain a lead this entire game, believe it or not. And... Why would you expand here? This is the one expansion you should not take. You have the whole map. You have center map control. You know where the army is at, and you expand to his fort. God, I just want to 
quit video games altogether. And look at this. I mean, you got to remember that SCVs have long sight vision, so we can spot these cans. If this one Marine forces the cancel, I'm going to laugh really hard. I think he will be able to clean that one out. The Void right here, though, he is pissed at that factory. You know what? Forget that the Terran player is expanding in your fourth base. I'm going to kill that factory, all right? That is going to be a thing that happens. Oracle's over here taking out a singular Marine. The Oracle loses all of his energy. Why is it that the other Oracle has zero kills and 200 energy? This guy has three kills and zero energy. I feel like that's just not a fair workload. But this is why we love Bronze League Heroes. I can make up a song for Bronze League Heroes. Like, Bronze League Heroes, everybody's bad. Bronze League Heroes, it makes me really sad. Bronze League Heroes, the games are freaking sweet. Bronze League Heroes. Now I have to tweet. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I, I haven't quite worked on the lyrics very much. But uh, the Marine Marine going to move me out. We got uh, Vikings now in the mix. Keep in mind, though, that Void Rays are relatively good versus Vikings if neither party is microing. And let's be honest, neither party will be microing here. We have 28 probes here. This could be a massacre. Can the cannons actually save them? Oh, God, they're just out of range. Those probes, what have you done? You've got to get out of there. You've got to go, probes. All right, so he does manage to save those. But uh, can he save anything else but his own sanity? Because he sure as hell ain't saving my sanity. It does look like the Stalkers will be able to kill off two of the Vikings total, which is probably his biggest victory this entire game. We are starting to see plus three armor upgrade. Not bad, not bad. Looks like more Marine and Brody going to be moving up here. Where is the Protoss army at? Why do you have no units? You have 114 supply. Where are your units? There they are. They're going to be running over here. But he loses all of his probes. He put them on the attack command. No reason to do that ever. No, you don't need to do that. Force fields here could clean this up. I think this army is overrun. Although half the army is not actually attacking. There he goes. All right, he manages to get that one void ray. Got to move in here. We'll see if he can kill off this entire base. He's definitely going to need that. We do have the Viking drops over in the main. Uh, can he kill a stalker? I think he will be able to. So this one Viking will just go to town on this base. He's got to see if the upgrade's on the way. I don't think he's even going to notice it, though. All right, this Viking's going to have a fun time killing off stuff. This Void Ray, can he do it? Can he kill off the Marines? It's got to be close. No, gets taken out there. The Void Ray tried so hard to kill a building, and it just is not meant to be. And, of course, Buzz Bomb is like, well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I'm just going to throw down more missile turrets. Although, one thing that's really not good for Buzz Bomb, other than everything, is the fact that he has not expanded. Now, I like the idea of trying to expand. Didn't like the idea of expanding into your opponent's base. That is not a good strategy. I don't recommend it, no matter what league you're in. Here comes the Widow Mine Man. He is going to waddle that thing all the way over there. And let's be honest, that is pretty dope placement. I don't think we've seen a single observer this entire game. And, oh, oh, Widowmine, here he goes. He's actually got some pretty sick Widowmine placement. He may be hovering 3,000 minerals, but he will place a Widowmine, man. He's got to try and burrow. That one will die. The other Widowmine, though, is ready to rumble. He may kill a Zealot, man. We may we may never know, but either way, he may... Oh, oh the probe right there could have got taken out. He hasn't been able to resaturate this base. This one is fully saturated with 24 probes. Could actually transfer some of those over. He does have a couple idle probes over here. Yeah, he grabbed some of them. There he goes. There he is. Uh, he's slowly sending them over to that base. So I got to say that Budaman's trying to get back in this. But our Terran player, I mean, he's got a lot of money. And the thing about low-level players is that they will hover a lot of money until... They are completely mined out, and then that's when their macro kicks in. Now, a normal player, their macro is going to kick in, like, as you're mining. You know, you're going to start building stuff. Not in Bronze League Heroes. There's a golden rule where you don't spend the money until you can't mine anymore. That is how it goes. It's kind of like, uh, it's kind of like... Uh, being a working class citizen. You save all your money, and then you retire, and you spend all your money. That's just kind of how it goes. So we will see what he gets with all his money. But, I mean, his supply is going to start going up here. I mean, look at this. He's making two Marines, two Vikings, and I believe even a Widow Mine at the same time there. So he has learned how to build multiple units at the same time, which is quite impressive. He has, however, not learned how to get Stim Pack or Combat Shields, which that's like going to Costco without buying 64 rolls of toilet paper. I mean, you just don't do that, as uh, it does look like the Marines are going to be moving out. Not quite sure what the point is here. We have a Hallucinated Phoenix. This is actually better than how I play. So he does have the Hallucinated Phoenix right there. Did not activate the mine. Did kill it off, and the Oracle does get taken out. The Widow Mine here does activate. It does get a kill. However, without more Widow Mines, this could be a disaster. I also love how far spread out everything is. I mean, just take a look at what you see right here. 
We got a bunch of Marines over here. We got some units over here. We got, I don't know what the hell is going on up here. And that doesn't matter, though, because it is Bronze League Heroes. He has the most dope-looking Terran base I think I have ever seen. I feel actually like we're playing Command and Conquer. This looks like a Command and Conquer base, all right? Now, we do have another Command Center on the way over on the right side. And the Widowmine there gets a kill number two. And Observer is on the way, though. So thankfully for Budaman, he actually knows how to deal with Widowmines. Well, I wouldn't really say deal with Widowmines. He knows how to spot them after they've killed his own army. Uh, so there he goes. He does take him out. Well played. Well played. You know, at, at this point, you, you got to really try and find something to be excited about. And that, oh, more Widowmine kills incoming. I believe they, uh, they did get their shots off before they both died. They got their shots and vaccinations before dying. Whoa, Vikings out of nowhere. A bunch of dead Vikings now uh, did get a couple of shots off. But until he gets his whole army together, I think he is going to be struggling right now. I got to say, man, Buzz Bomb, even if he loses right now, he wins in our heart. Down goes the Observer, though, so any Widow Mines here will be effective. One Zealot goes down. Uh, I don't think there's any more Widow Mines, though. He's trying to hold the line. It's kind of hard, though, when you don't really have a line. It's just a bunch of units that are mismatched and throughout the base. I think he is actually going to lose here. He will kill off the Vikings, uh, but not before losing his own Colossus here. But remember, the Planetary Fortress. Never count out the Planetaries in Bronze League Heroes. They do get quite a few kills here. Seven kills overall before finally going down. There is the other Planetary over here, which is up to 15 kills. The army, though, going to get a good angle. The SCV is going to try and repair. I don't think it's going to be enough unless more SCVs begin joining in on this battle. Uh, oh, God. Is he actually going to hold this? Is he going to hold this? The planetary fortress that could. He might actually be able to hold this for now. Kills off a sentry as well. The Vikings going to be reinforcing, if you can even call it that. Oh, my God. He's actually going to hold this. He is actually going to hold this. He has scared the army away. What is this game that we are watching? I don't even know. Honestly, uh, this game is so silly that I don't even know what StarCraft is anymore. Is it Orcs in Space? Is that, uh, is that what it is? Because that is what I'm feeling like. Oh, God. That was a reference to Old School Blizzard. Anyways, lots of Vikings still remain. Uh, I, I'm just going to say that three Marauders is a lot. I think that's like the most Marauders we've seen all game. So a lot of Marauders, quote unquote, air quotes on that one. A lot of Marauders still in the game. The SVs are going to be transferring over, but this game... While it may be atrocious, I don't think there's any way that Buzz Bomb can actually win unless he makes another Planetary Fortress, which is exactly what he's doing over here on the right side. He is finally going to have some income, but unfortunately for him, uh, he's not retired yet, so he's not spending that money. But he is microing these Vikings like a champ. Kills off yet another probe. It's going to take a while for him to actually kill this Nexus. Although, i got to say, Vikings do quite a bit of damage. It's actually pretty impressive. If you take a look here, no, he can't take a look because they're going to die here. But anyways, it's damage 13 with a very fast attack speed on those Vikings. Whoa, whoa, Vikings. You should probably land if you want to do anything over here. Oh, God. Oh, God, Vikings. What have you done? It's time to leave now, Vikings. This is your cue to leave, Vikings. What are you doing, Vikings? I think how he's moved one of the Vikings. But he loses two of them there. The plus one attack really starting to uh, kick in there. Starting to kick in, man. That's so kick-ass. All right, so we do have the base up and running over here. He does actually have 24 SCVs, which I got to hand him. That is the perfect number. Now, he has to start mining gas here, and he has money that he can spend. What does he spend it on? One Marauder. He's got one Marauder on the way. Even though if he made some siege tanks and some Vikings, he'd actually be able to kill this army. Uh, but I don't think that's going to happen. I just don't think that's going to happen, guys. As uh, his base over on the right side is vulnerable. It does have missile turrets, though. It does have a planetary fortress. But I can't help but feeling like Budaman is just gearing up for a sick... 33 minute timing attack now normally I would say like all right He's gonna be maxed out when he moves in there I think that I'm gonna die of old age and turn into a skeleton that blows away into the wind before either of these players ever gets maxed out So uh, we do have more stalkers on the way more zealots are on the way the army's starting to look quite nice Oh god, this is a bad idea. This is a bad idea. You do not want to be doing drops as a bronze league hero It never works out. Oh God the cannons on the right side are making me nervous he is going to attempt to go for it, decides to back out, decides, no, I'm going to go, decides to back out, decides, and then he just unloads over here, which he could just walk over there. He didn't save any time, but that's fine. All right, is he going to stim? Oh, wait, he doesn't have stim. Silly, silly me. All right, he's going to go ahead and try and kill these off. He will be able to get the pylon right away. That was actually smart. He focused down the pylon there, and he's got to try and kill off some probes. He will be able to do substantial damage. But the problem is that he's just so far behind his supply. He's so focused on his micro. He is going to massacre these probes again, though. 
Remember, Protoss, if you are crushing a battle, you don't need to randomly send in your pros. That's like sending in 10 immortals to kill a planetary, and then you're like, I'm going to finish it off with some probes. And the, no, you never, you don't do that. You're going to end up losing all your workers. Two attack is done, by the way. But uh, I feel like, I feel like finally, Buddha Man, it's been slow. It's been painful. But now he's got multi prong attacks going on. What's this over here? Oh, we got a fancy drop. It probably wasn't even a drop. Honestly, it's probably a walkover or like a hop over where you, you load them and then you unload them like halfway. And you're like, all right, run the rest of the way. Uh, the zealots over here, my life for ire, which is what Bronze League Heroes zealots always say because they're so stupid, they always die. I, I literally feel like the AI on Bronze League Heroes zealots, are, are, it's just bad. It's just worse. I, I know Mike Morhaime, man. He's at Blizzard. He's like, all right, guys, let's make Bronze Level zealots just so dumb. My life for ire, as he does manage to uh, lose more and more zealots over here. The SVs are going to repair. Now, this is the stage of the game where the multitasking gets too intense for these players. And they start to hover a lot of money. I mean, we're talking, we're talking a lot of money. If I had an inheritance of 2,000 minerals, I'd be quite happy with that. It does look at these zealots over here, though. We'll eventually burn it down. One more zealot will get taken out before all is said and done. But unfortunately, that planetary fortress will go down. I think that is finally going to be it for this silly game. There we go. Buzz Bomb just leaves the game. He's like, this game does not warrant a GG because Buzz Bomb, hey yo! Anyways, hope you guys enjoy it. It was a ton of fun because Buzz Bomb. And I'll see you guys next time. Oh, God. Oh, they're so good. They are so good. Here was a non-drop about to take place over here. My life for ire.